In 1970, the South Carolina legislature established Francis Marion College as a state institution in Florence in the eastern region of South Carolina. Under its founding president, Dr. Walter Smith, the Francis Marion student body grew to an enrollment of 2,500 by the end of the decade. Throughout the 70s, Francis Marion's athletic teams were affiliated with the National Association for Intercollegiate Athletics, the NAIA, for men's programs, and with the Association of Intercollegiate Athletics for Women, the AIAW, for women's sports. In its wooded setting on the outskirts of Florence, Francis Marion is near the country farm where future women's basketball star Pearl Moore grew up with her nine brothers and sisters before the family moved into the city. After graduating from Florence's Wilson High School, where she scored 1,327 career points, Moore played basketball in the fall semester of 75 at Anderson Junior College, then a national powerhouse. In the spring of 76, Moore came back home to her family, enrolled at Francis Marion University, and immediately joined the Lady Patriot Squad, as allowed under AIAW transfer guidelines. Well, you know, uh, Pearl Moore was uh, uh, rec widely recognized as, as a first-class basketball player by anybody who saw her, and she had a reputation. Unfortunately, she, sp she played in a small college. So her reputation didn't uh, reach the... Um, uh, the halls of, uh, of major media, and uh, sometimes I think her achievements uh, went uh, unnoticed. But she was uh, she was an outstanding basketball player at all levels. When she was in uh, pro professional ball, she was called instant offense. And, and a number of other players from that era definitely should be ferreted out to, to be included in some sort of Hall of Fame. Uh, she set a national record for uh, scoring in one game with 61. And she had a career scoring record of 4,061 points, which exceeded uh, uh, the previous record by Travis Grant from Kentucky State. Uh, as someone who saw Pearl Moore play during her college career, I would strongly recommend her as a nominee for the Hall of Fame. Pearl played at then Francis Marion College from 1975 to 1979. She scored 4,061 points during her collegiate career, some 400 more points than the University of Kansas, Lynette Woodard, and some 800 more points in Hall of Famer Carol Blajowski of Montclair State, two individuals often referred to as the career scoring leaders of women's college basketball. Pearl helped lead Francis Marion to three appearances in the AIAW Small College National Tournament. During a 1978 Small College National Tournament game that I staffed, she scored a record 60 points in a victory over Eastern Washington State College. Earlier that season, she passed the scoring mark of the legendary Pistol Pete Maravich with a 52-point effort against East Carolina University. Pearl recorded her totals despite playing on Francis Marion teams that never had a six-footer. At only 5'7", she also recorded 1,270 career rebounds and went on to play several years of professional basketball, both overseas and in the States. Moore was also the subject of the 1994 award-winning documentary, The Lost Generation, The Women Collegiate Basketball Players of the AIAW Era, by David Burt. In May of 1976, Pat Putnam of Sports Illustrated wrote about a basketball legend whose New York Nets basketball team had just captured an American Basketball Association title. Too bad, America, but you missed one of the greatest basketball shows on earth, or rather just a few feet off the earth. That was Julius Irving scoring and scoring, passing, rebounding, blocking, and stealing, all in the undeserved obscurity of the ABA. I had a unique vantage point in 1979. I, too, witnessed one of the greatest basketball shows on earth, this one, Pearl Moore. I saw her up close as an AIAW basketball official and as the Associated Press writer who filed the wire service story the day that Pearl Moore became college basketball's all-time leading scorer, 4,061 points, 4,061 points. In 1979, 
Pearl Moore was the greatest college scorer ever to play the game, albeit, like Julius Irving, in the undeserved obscurity of her college's geographic location, of the late 70s AIW affiliation, and of the lack of media attention afforded the stars of the then emerging college game. Frances Marion's Pearl Moore, the dominant player of her era, and still today the all-time leading women's scorer, was the clear choice of the video documentary The Lost Generation to indicate the modern failure to recognize the amazing athletes of this era. Here's the cut from that documentary. The one player who most symbolizes both the pioneering spirit of the AIAW era and its lack of modern recognition is Francis Marion University's Pearl Moore. Moore played from 1975 to 1979, was a national All-American and the National Small College Player of the Year in 1979. Competing against both small and large universities, many like Clemson, South Carolina, and Florida State, now NCAA Division I schools, Pearl Moore scored and scored and scored and scored. 4,061 total points. To become, in 1979, the all-time leading collegian scorer, both men and women. And is still, to this day, the all-time women scoring leader. Sylvia Ryan Hatchell, then Moore's coach at Francis Marion, and now the head coach of the 1994 NCAA Division I Women's National Champions, the University of North Carolina Lady Tar Heels, had this to say about Pearl Moore. Pearl Moore could play at any Division I school in the country. Uh, I think she's one of the, the greatest players that's ever played the game, and I don't think there's any school in the country that Pearl could not be uh, probably an All-American. One of the amazing things is that Pearl played at Francis Marion College. It's now Francis Marion University. Uh, the enrollment was about 3,500, and we played against uh, Division I schools uh, like uh, University of South Carolina, Clemson, Florida State, uh, NC State, uh, just a lot of the major Division I schools now with uh, some of the better women's basketball programs. So, you know, we were a small school playing against the, the big dogs, as a lot of people say, uh, and she still uh, was the greatest player of all. There's no doubt in my mind that Pearl Moore belongs in the Basketball Hall of Fame. I asked former Sports Illustrated writer and several-time National Sports Writer of the Year, Frank DeFord, this question. Does Pearl Moore, who scored 4,061 points, deserve consideration for the Basketball Hall of Fame? Absolutely. I mean, I just don't think that you should draw technical lines. Uh, she scored those points, and those points you can't. I think, for example, that Sadahara Oh, the great Japanese player, should be put in Cooperstown, and there's no reason why Pearl Moore shouldn't be put in Springfield. It is my privilege to recommend Pearl Moore for the Basketball Hall of Fame. She was the first inductee at Francis Marion University's Athletic Hall of Fame, and although I did not see her play, her legend still remains here at this institution. During her playing time, she scored 4,061 points, which at one time gave her the championship among both men and women for scoring. She still retains the title for scoring among women. She brought our basketball program to an entirely new height, a new level, and it was because of her outstanding character, her determination, her devotion to the game, and her personal strength that she was able to do this. I consider those are the qualities that would actually make her being inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame a credit to that hall. 
Yes, I'm happy to uh, talk about Pearl Moore. When the Pearl that I remember came to Francis Marion in 1976, she impressed all of us as a great basketball player, but also as an attractive and uh, very friendly young lady. Her coach at that time, now uh, University of North Carolina's uh, Sylvia Hatchell, had a real knack for bringing to Francis Marion the best players from our area. And it didn't take her long to spot Pearl Moore. Pearl's athletic performance and her personal conduct was always such as to uh, bring great credit to the college. And she helped bring statewide attention to the college in uh, 1979 when then Governor Dick Riley at a joint session of the House and the Senate of South Carolina presented her with the South Carolina Palmetto Lady Award. Now that was a first for Francis Marion. Now my memory of Pearl is of a confident, calm, smooth, skillful player whose uh, 4,061 career points came and not because uh, she was hungry for fame, but because she was always there, she was set and ready, and her teammates, therefore, put the ball in her hands at the right moments. Now, as a fairly regular fan at the women's games, it was always my impression that Pearl Moore, more than any other player, can be credited for establishing an athletic tradition for women at Francis Marion College. Yes, I'm an enthusiastic supporter of Pearl Moore for the Basketball Hall of Fame. 